Hey everyone, this is Shukesh Banik from Gadgets Portal and this is a hardware review on this new Sony Xperia e -Dual. I have already shown you the exterior hardware design on the unboxing review and though this is a budget device priced at only 11,000 rupees for the dual sim version and 10,000 rupees for the single sim version, the finish, the overall build quality of this phone is great. If you compare it with other entry-level devices like Sony's own Xperia Tipo, Galaxy Y Duos, etc., this device has a much better design. Regarding the display, this phone has got a 3.5 inches display with HVGA resolution just like Sony Xperia Miro but unfortunately the display is not as good as Miro's display. It is a little bit dark and the contrast level is a little bit high but considering the price of this device, this display is not bad at all. Regarding the multi-touch capability of this phone, just like other entry-level devices, this phone has got two-point multi-touch which is okay for normal browsing and also for pinching on photos etc. Let's check the loudspeaker on this phone and this phone has got XLoud sound enhancement and the loudspeaker is very loud compared to other devices in the same category and regarding the camera i have uploaded the camera samples on my facebook page facebook.com slash gadgets portal and the camera on this device for an entry level device is also good this is a 3.2 megapixels camera with vg recording and the video capability is also not bad now guys let me show you the storage ram etc and don't forget to watch the unboxing video to get the actual idea about the out of the box storage ram etc the phone storage is 738 mb and there is also an internal storage of 2.01 gb so this is great for an entry level device let's check the ram on this device at this moment and after installing couple of applications i'm getting around 152 mb of free space which is okay for normal uses this phone has got 512 mb of ram but the user available is comparatively very low now let's run some benchmarks and let me first show you this quadrant standard and let's check the system info first this phone is running on Android 4.0.4 Ice Cream Sandwich and the CPU is 1GHz single core Cortex A5 and the RAM that is the memory is around 408,000 KB. The display has got good 67Hz refresh rate and the GPU is Qualcomm Adreno 200. Here are the sensors on this phone. Now let's run the benchmark. Well, I have got 2213 on Quadrant Standard which is quite good for an entry level device. Let's run the Nina Mark 2 benchmark to check the graphics FPS. It is 27.1 FPS which is again satisfactory for an entry level device. In fact, overall the CPU and the GPU performance on this phone is very good considering the category of this phone. Now let's run the Antutu benchmark as well. Well we have got the result and it is 5619 which is again very good for a device like this. Well overall the hardware performance of this phone is great and this user interface is actually quite graphics intensive but still this phone doesn't lag that much compared to previous Xperia devices and the touch response is also much more improved. The best thing on this device is the look and the build quality. If you are looking for a budget device with good look and good user interface then get this device. I'll upload a full in-depth review on this phone showing every feature on this device so don't forget
to subscribe to gadgets portal and also visit facebook.com slash gadgets portal for the camera samples check the channel for the unboxing and the hands-on review and also visit gadgets portal.in for the full in-depth review you can also check my new gaming channel at youtube.com slash gadgets portal play so thanks for watching see you in the next video bye bye and take care